Hi. Um, um, I want to talk about something. I want to talk about my opinion about uh, clones. Um, clones particularly of uh, very uh, famous and popular fragrances. Um, there are numerous houses uh, which are um, created to, to deliver you uh, a similar experience uh, with a very cheap fragrance um, um, compared to a very expensive fragrance. So um, I want to talk about my opinion. Uh, we'll try to describe it in my words, uh, how I think about all this topic. And I will show you which clone fragrances I actually do own. So in general, um, there is like a huge, huge market for clones, for fragrance clones, like um, um, Creed uh, fragrances are very often cloned, especially, of course, Creed Aventus. There are, as you probably know, as, um, as you watch probably other YouTube channels too, uh, for fragrances um, and uh, probably read websites, there are like in, uh, it feels like there are thousands of um, of like um, clones of Creed Aventus. There's even um, there's even like um, um, two brands which um, which uh, produce fragrances that should smell like a specific uh, batch of Creed Aventus. And the ones I'm talking about are Pineapple Vintage. Uh, this is um, a website where you can buy uh, numerous clones of Creed Aventus, but also from... They also made a take of La Nuit de L'Homme, I think, from Yves Saint Laurent. And, uh, and the other fragrance brand I'm talking about is Dua. Dua fragrances uh, also... Um, produce uh, very many um, clones of very popular fragrances. Um, for example, um, there is um, Invasion of the Barbers, for example, is a clone of uh, a fragrance of the brand MDCI. Invasion Barbare is the name of the fragrance. And the thing is with Dua, especially, um, they are I think too pricey for um, what they actually deliver. At least that's my uh, my experience so far with just one fragrance I bought. But I bought this one fragrance two times um, because I just was caught so hard by the hype. And let, that will lead me to the first fragrance actually that I actually own as a clone. And this is called Dua Fragrances Poseidon's Elixir 13 ZZ. Uh, and it's also said inspired expression. This one uh, was uh, marketed and sold under the saying that this uh, replicates the experience of the very best Creed Aventus batch there ever was. The most pineapple-y, the most um, compliment-getting um, a batch um, that ever existed of Creed Aventus. And I can, <laughs> I can really tell you um, that this fragrance here has does very lack in quality in my opinion. It is of course uh, recognizable a clone a recognizably a clone of Creed Aventus, but it's it's nothing spectacular. It's like it was a very huge letdown because I have never smelled that badge of Aventus, which is supposed to be so great uh, that this tries to inspire. Uh, to 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 bring you and also it's very expensive for 30 milliliters uh, you pay 60 euros which i think is pretty highly priced for a clone house um to be fair this is my only experience with the house May, maybe they have a lot better fragrances than this one but this one really disappointed me a lot um so dua fragrances doesn't get uh, a recommendation from me um because I just have this one fragrance and it disappointed me so much that I don't want to buy another one of this house. Um, staying with Creed Aventus, I also bought this one here. It is called uh, Club de Nuit or a Club de Nuit Intense Man uh, from Armaf. And this one 
is supposed to be is uh, is a clone of Creed Aventus, but um, also disappoints me a lot. It is uh, like um, <laughs> you know my problem with with uh, clones, uh, fragrance dupes also know uh, said to um, is that they actually in my experience never deliver the um, experience you get with the real deal like. I have smelled so many different uh, clones, dupes of Creed Aventus. None of these really brought this experience you you get with with a real Creed Aventus. It's just my opinion, uh, and I think many people that say otherwise um, they just don't have the best noses. They just don't see the difference, and that's not a big deal, not a problem. It's uh, it makes me actually happy that they can have a very cheap uh, Aventus experience. But this one here, it costs online maybe 25 to 30 euros in, uh, if you buy it in Germany. You can only buy it online, I think. I have never seen this brand, Armaf, in a store here. And it is, it is, it has a good performance. I, I will give it, I will give that to it. But it has such an annoying smell to me. Like, so synthetic and so so harsh and and so unsmooth. Creed Aventus is very smooth. Creed Aventus is so ah oh, so easy going, and this is just a citrus, maybe slightly pineapple-y. It's just too much of everything. So also a disappointment for me. Uh, the, the bottle is massive. You could probably murder someone with that one. It's almost the the heavy weight of a, of a Parfum Stimali bottle, actually. And, yeah, I, I kind of already said there what I think about clones and dupes and dupe houses. They, in my experience, never deliver exactly uh, what you wish they would deliver. Um, yeah. But maybe the, the, the future will prove me wrong. Uh, for my taste, maybe I will find uh, clones of very expensive fragrances that I really do like. But these two did not do the trick. Also, um, which was actually a pretty good dupe, uh, as it gets a very um, close experience to the real deal, is La Rive Man's World. This is like a dupe for uh, Hugo Boss The Scent Eau de Toilette. Uh, which is a very pleasant smell to my nose. I really do like the scent uh, by Hugo Boss. Uh, it got it gets a lot of hype. Uh, hype? No, it gets a lot of hate in the fragrance community. I don't think it's necessary. I think the performance is not good in the fragrance itself. But it's one of those that just get bashed. I don't know why exactly because it really does smell good. And this one. Yeah, it, it's of course.